South Africans in various sectors continue to fly the flag high internationally. Katelo Malinga, the president of the International Institute of Business Analysis South Africa, has been nominated to a prestigious international board. Her selection means she is the first African to be nominated. And this nomination provides a platform to contribute to the progress of IT in the country and on the continent. And she joins us now to tell us a bit more about the nomination and what it means for her work going forward. Katelo, thank you so much for your time this morning. Uh, give us some background now. You are the president of the International Institute of Business Analysis in South Africa. For the lay people out there, such as myself, what, uh, what uh, part of the industry that, does that board oversee? All right, so from the uh, South Africa uh, IBA board, uh, we oversee, I'd say, the business uh, section or the business uh, uh, industry, and we focus more in the IT sector, but our focus is not purely on the IT sector. We focus wherever there's a problem, because that's the role of a business analyst. Mm. They are problem solvers. They are value Risk creators. analysis. Risk yeah. analysis. So many other aspects that business analysts actually do. Uh, the board from a South Africa perspective and the international board as well will be doing a lot of advocating for the profession of uh, business analysis. Not a lot of people know what business analysis is. Mm. So we're advocating for that particular profession and also for the professionals within the uh, business analysis space. Now, now, you were recently in Las Vegas, I, I understand, where you were one of the, uh, uh, the speakers at this prestigious gathering. Tell us what that was about and, and, and what did you talk about there? All right, so Las Vegas, as you know, very, very vibrant. <laughs> yeah, very bright. <laughs> very bright lights, uh, very, very many bright lights. Um, and so it was really an amazing experience, you know, it was very bustling, the, the, the actual, uh, the actual uh, 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 particular uh, place. But more than that, I was there to speak, uh, more than just the, the sightseeing. I was there to speak, and I was speaking on the high cost of low-impact solutions. Mm -hmm. uh, a case why solving the wrong problem is an illusion of progress. Oh, we need a lot of that here in South Africa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, 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 and that's the problem. You know, Solving the wrong problem is one of the biggest problems that we face, mm -hmm. not just in South Africa, but it's, it's a global issue. Mm -hmm. So that was what my talk was about. It was really trying to foster that there is a need to really understand the root cause of a problem. In IT, we call it solutionism. People just tend to throw data. People just tend to throw technology at a problem, sometimes money at a problem, but the problem still doesn't get fixed. Why? Yeah. Because you haven't dug deeper. And, and how was, how was your, your messaging received, specifically because you were talking from the context of doing what you do with a, with, from an African context? Exactly. Um, I think it was well received. Uh, the, the audience really seemed to, to be interested in what I was saying and they seemed excited to hear from a South African uh, you know, about it, this particular topic. They asked obviously about the problems that we face in mm. South Africa such as load mm. shedding and we, I, spoke as a, 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 for, um, I spoke a bit on those as well trying to explain to them that you know, from a South Africa perspective we have been trying to solve the issue of load shedding for over 15 years to 16 years now and uh, we still face it today. We're in stage 6 in definitely as you well aware and I tried to highlight that you know we've we tried to solve the problem we've thrown money at it I think mm. last year there was about 250 a quarter of a trillion rand from taxpayers that was paid to try and solve the problem of ESCOM uh, we've tried buying new machinery we've tried building new plants but the problem still exists so what is the actual problem mm. and I try to highlight that maybe some of the issues could be the organizational culture that we need to look into uh, how is the culture of this particular organization the politicization of the problem as well the politicization exactly of the problem as well there could be so many other aspects that we need mm -hmm. to dig into and that's where business analysts come in they come in to actually understand mm -hmm. the business problems the business needs and look at those problems from different angles now very Thank quickly you. before yeah. we say goodbye you've also now been nominated to this prestigious international board yes what does that mean to your career personally and what you're hoping it will what doors you're hoping it will um, uh, open for other catellos in the industry from this part of Africa it means a lot to me individually, but also mm -hmm. for the South African IBA chapter and also for the African continent, considering that I'm the first African mm. to be on this board. Um, really, being on a board or any board is really about influence and decision making. So I get to influence the policies, the direction, the, um, uh, the, 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 yeah, the policies, the direction of that particular organization. I can then also ensure that the decision making is made to suit and favor the needs of the African continent. So uh, there's also a lot of collaboration and networking sessions with industry experts, uh, sponsors, uh, business partners, and the like from an international perspective. So I get to have you know a great platform to. Uh, 
uh, share the unique needs and perspectives of the African continent and hopefully foster the growth of the African uh, continent, foster the growth of the economy uh, within the South Africa perspective and also obviously then also inspire uh, other Catellos uh, out there, that it is possible, you know, uh, to do amazing things with what you have. Absolutely. And we can only wish you everything the best. Knocking down doors, breaking ceilings, taking the table, not just a place at the table. Thank you so much for coming to tell us about the work that you do and the amazing uh, new adventures you're taking on. Catello Malinga, the president of the International Institute of Business Analysis in South Africa, and also now nominated to the pres prestigious international board uh, in that space as well. We thank her for. Thank you so much, myself, for your this time. This morning here on ENCA.